A North Texas business owner and self-proclaimed financial advisor is charged with murdering one of his clients. Police say he tried to make it look like a suicide. They say Keith Ashley shot and killed James Segan of Carrollton in February. Ashley was arrested last week after detectives put the evidence all together and determined Ashley was trying to get away with murder and millions of dollars. Fox 4's David Centendry is in Carrollton tonight with more on the murder investigation. David. Stephen Heather, this was briefly thought to be a suicide, but investigators say those details just weren't adding up. Now, nine months after a 62 year old man was found dead in his home, shot in the head, police believe his financial advisor is the one who pulled the trigger. The owner of Nine Band Brewing in Allen, 48 year old Keith Ashley, who was also a financial advisor, is accused of murdering one of his own clients and staging it as a suicide. It started as what appeared to be a suicide, but from the very start, there were some things that just did not feel right about it. Carrollton police say Jim Segan's wife found the 62 year old dead inside their home, apparently from a gunshot to the left side of his head back in February. There was a typed suicide note and a gun in Segan's left hand, but Segan's wife told police he was right handed and not a gun owner, according to an arrest affidavit. Yeah, I think the detectives would tell you what stood out immediately was the positioning of the gun. Police say doorbell camera footage shows Ashley arriving to Segan's home the morning of the fatal gunshot. 44 minutes later, a loud noise believed by police to be a gunshot reactivated the camera and Ashley walked outside six minutes later. He was in the house when the loud noise triggered the camera and then he was gone. The affidavit says investigators searched Ashley's property and located multiple financial documents where it appears he had been forging Segan's signature. Segan had two life insurance policies, one valued at $2 million, but three weeks before he died, the beneficiary was changed from Segan's wife to Ashley. They say the oldest motive there is money, one of them anyway. The FBI arrested Ashley near his Allen home Friday. He's also indicted on federal wire fraud charges for allegedly ripping off at least eight additional clients. He's well known and active in his community. The brewery owner and financial advisor is also a registered nurse. Segan's autopsy reveals the anesthetic drug Atomidate was found in his system. Investigators say Ashley had access to the drug. They believe he incapacitated Segan before killing him. I'd never heard of that drug, but there's absolutely no reason it would be in anyone's system other than you just had surgery. They were right. It was not a suicide but the motive was money. Ashley is in federal custody. Investigators believe he was running a Ponzi type scheme and that there potentially could be additional financial victims still out there. Steve, Heather.